This tutorial will show you how to analyze mass spec data in Mestranova. If you still need to install MNOVA, click on the annotation on the screen or find the link in the description. The video description also contains information for troubleshooting issues with Mestranova. The topics covered in this video include opening a file, examining the tick or total ion chromatogram, examining the mass spectrum, and miscellaneous analysis tools. We'll start by opening a file. To do this, click the folder, which is the Open button, or you can go to File, Open in the menu. Navigate to the folder where you saved your data. For mass spec data, you'll either open the data.ms file or a .mnova file. If at any point you want to save your spectra and any analysis you've done, go to File and Save As to save your work as a .mnova file. This allows you to close the program and come back right where you left off. Now we can look at the tick, or total ion chromatogram. The x-axis on the tick is retention time, and the y-axis is number of ions detected. To zoom in on a region of the x-axis, left-click the plus magnifying glass, and then left-click and drag on the spectrum where you want to zoom. To zoom out, select the minus magnifying glass and left-click on the spectrum, or click the Full Spectrum button. To deselect a command, hit the Escape key. With no command selected, you can pan the selected area of the spectrum by left-clicking and holding on the x-axis and dragging left or right. If at any time you need to undo a command, Control z or clicking the red arrow will revert your last command. If your peaks need resizing, you can change the y-axis by clicking the increase or decrease buttons in the toolbar, or by using the scroll wheel on your mouse. When you open a mass spec file, MNOVA automatically picks peaks. You may need to clear out the auto peak picking in order to properly analyze your data. To do this, right click on the spectrum and left click on clear peaks. You can find the same command in the toolbar or in the Mass Analysis menu option under Peak Detection. To add a peak, right-click on the spectrum and select Add Peak, or find the command in the toolbar or in the Mass Analysis menu under Peak Detection, as before. When adding a peak, you want to select as much of the peak as you can, plus a little on each side, without selecting adjacent peaks. To manually delete a single peak, right-click on the spectrum and select delete peak. Then left click and drag over the peak you want to delete. You can also find the delete peak command in the toolbar or in the top menu. If you want to view a table of your selected peaks in the tick, first hit escape to deselect any active commands, then left click on the tick. Go to view and under tables click mass peaks. If you want to paste this table into a document like a lab report, Click Copy and then paste the table in the desired location by hitting Control V. Now we'll look at the mass spectrum. The x-axis on the mass spectrum is the mass to charge ratio of an ion, commonly referred to as the m to z. Most simple organic molecules will form ions with a charge of 1, and when an ion's charge is 1, the m to z is equal to the mass of the observed ion. The y-axis on the mass spectrum is the number of ions detected. There are several options for viewing a peak's mass spectrum. One way is to click the crosshair or find the manual selection button. Both of these buttons do the same thing. These allow you to left click and drag to show the selected area's mass spectrum. You can also left click to view a single point's mass spec, but in most cases your mass spec will be more accurate if you select an area. Another way to view a mass spectrum is using the peak selection mode in the toolbar. This tool allows you to select an area and view the mass spectrum of any added peaks. You can see that even though I'm highlighting a large area, the mass spec is only shown for the peak that I selected earlier. To show multiple mass spectra, left click the Append Spectrum button before selecting a peak area. To swap out a mass spec, deselect the Append Spectrum and left click the circle of the spectrum you want to change. Selecting a region, will swap the mass spec of the new region for the old spectrum. You can also reorder spectra by right-clicking on them and selecting any of the Move Plot commands. To delete a mass spectrum, 
right click on the spectrum you want to delete and then left click on delete plot. Remember that you can undo commands with control Z or with the red arrow. When examining the mass spectrum use the same zoom and intensity commands discussed at the beginning of the tick analysis section. Mestranova is a very powerful program and there are many tools you can use to make data analysis easy, fast, and functional. This section demonstrates a few extra tools that you may be able to utilize and there are plenty more features in the program which you are encouraged to explore on your own. When putting together a lab report, it will come in handy to copy and paste spectra into Word, Excel, or other documents. To do this, left click on the set of spectra you want to use in the Pages section and hit Control C to copy the spectrum. Alternatively, you can right click on what you want to copy and select Copy. You can then paste this into various programs with Control V. If you have ChemDraw installed on in your computer, you can copy chemical structures from ChemDraw with Control C and paste them into MNOVA with Control V or Edit Paste. You can draw and edit structures in MNOVA with the toolbar commands, but ChemDraw is much easier for drawing chemical structures. MNOVA also allows you to draw and write on your spectra. You can find these features by going to Edit and hovering over Annotate. This can be particularly useful for identifying individual molecules in a spectrum that contains multiple molecules. If you have access to the tick-stack-layout.mnova file, you can use this to view multiple ticks at the same time. Opening the tick-stack-layout file will require you to reopen the ticks you want to stack. The same zoom and intensity commands discussed before will also work here. The spectra will appear in the order in which you open them, but you can go back and resize and rearrange them as much as you want. The undo command will come in handy here. You can also export spectra as PDF files. You can select multiple spectra by holding shift and left clicking on the desired spectra in the pages section. Selecting multiple spectra will produce a multi-paged PDF with each spectrum on a different page. To export your selected spectra as a PDF file, go to File and Export to PDF. I hope this video was helpful and happy analyzing 